Riders All 13, we're back with another vlog. Today we're updating Jogo's wheels and uh, got a couple more parts for it. And I've got a little teaser for you as well. My bike is right under there, which you cannot see right now. Got a little teaser for you lot. Um, I don't know if anyone's done it in the UK or not, but I know I've done it and it's about to be rideable. But yeah, man, uh, we've got Jogo's got uh, some nice chosen back wheel over here and the front wheel as well. I've already put shit. I've already degreased it a little bit. Right. I've already degreased it a little bit. <laughs> Sounding nice. Um, if you lot want, uh, should I actually show them how to degrease it? I think that's a long just taking it back apart. Yeah, no, no. Basically, basically, how to degrease it is quick and simple. You have to take this bit off. Once you take this bit off over here, there's going to be like the the the, um, the axle is going to have like this little open bit. You put something in there, put Allen key in here, you twist it, you take this bit out and you pull out the, the cassette hub body and basically just degrease it, put it back on, tighten it back up and that's pretty much how you do it. I've already done it, but it's a bit long to show you how to do it again. But yeah, man, we're going to start off with the back rim. We're going to take off these stickers. And yeah, that's about pretty much about it. So let's get straight into it. On, we've put on the cassette, well the cassette was already on, but, it, oh, shit, but we've tightened it up. Now we're putting on a hope disc on there, brand new. Lads, do you see this? This like, these, I don't know what these guys got. Lucas scratched my wheel. Yeah. I didn't, bro, it just fell, bro. Now this guy just literally about yeah, to scratch yeah, my wheel. I feel like you're never going to scratch your wheel. Uh, no, because it's not a car. You're not going to go you're up gonna near curbs. You're going to go rocks and pebbles and rocks are going to get flung at your wheel. No. But yeah, after what this. What do you think, Andre? So far, so good. It's, it's going to look hella clean. But the Major only prob the only problem is these rims only take press. Major hopes rocket. The, Come oh, and see, lads. The only, Come the, and see. Don't watch that. The only problem is is that these uh, ru uh, rims don't take. Pr um, I think they're Schwabble valves. Aren't they? All right, one second. Let me. Schwabble valves or something like let that. Let me I don't move know. up here. They only take Presto valves, so Jogo is gonna have to go to Halfords. Halfords to go and get the. Oh, valve. I don't. He is. Sorry. He yeah. is. I'm not. Just currently doing this. Because right now he, he, he's he got advantage of a whip. I don't. My whip is gone. So, <laughs> Mr. Andre? No, I don't know. I might. Someone just walked in through the back door. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Go and grab it. So, this is the update. I've got the. But just part of the seat. I'm trying to get a black seat and change the handlebars. But that's what it looks like right now. Got a massive cassette on there. Uh, over here, so if any of you are wondering how to convert it, you need to get a single speed derailleur hanger, which it looks like that, and it goes in there. It's looking clean. So, Jogo's wheel is on, let's give a little sound check. And uh, it's going to get louder as the time goes by. Sounds like a ghost screaming. Look how gassy it is. <laughs> But yeah, now we've got to get a pump and uh, press the valve in a tube for the front wheel and then it'll be done, innit? <laughs> so, we've got the bike done, but because this new wheel was so hard to put the hookworms on, uh, I done it with a tyre lever and I ended up splitting the inner tube. So, we're now going to walk down to Halfords and see if they could do it without splitting the inner tube. And if they do split it, they're, they're putting another one in, innit? So it's calm. But yeah. I'm out on the C2 right now. Boy, oi. You vlog, I must have already seen this because I want to post the review, the review before I post this on YouTube. But yeah, man. Got your boy Lucas there. Oh, yeah. Lucas is new thing. Found it in a bush. <laughs> That's how many bikes now? Four. Four Jorns now. I've got three, but one of them don't ride. <laughs> my ride. My Cheng, my I still needs a derailleur hanger. But yeah. It's currently next day right now. I'm gonna try to do some combos on the C2. Hold on. Look at all the jaws that's in this in this garden right now. Please don't please mind the mess. I still need to clean it. So we literally got yeah so much money worth of bikes right now in this garden. We've got two over there. We've got C100, my ting, that ting, my dad's ting, that one. Uh, we've got a. Uh, 
That's what I was <laughs> we got this over here, and then we've got another C2 there. Look who's here. Who's here? Oh, Ty's here. <laughs> like I said, though, don't mind the mess in the garden. I do need to clean it up because we've been fixing bikes for like, what, the past two weeks now, which is basically yours. Um, I did spray paint Dad's walls over there, as I show you in the last video, which is right there. It looks clean. <laughs> I'm a bit tired, but we're keeping it up because you know why? Because I love most of my fans as a support, so I'm making more videos for them. You know what? I love your fans as support as well. My God, I just called that on the GoPro. I just called that on the GoPro. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just, I just see you coming out of it pretty much. My heart, my heart. Uh, I see you turning around, you're like. Oh my god, you Should have brought my chonky out, then you would have liked that sound better. Do you want to see how much C2 would it get? Uh, gears? Yeah. Watch how much speed is drawn can catch my tree. You ever seen a C2 go this fast?
Andre, love for the GoPro, yeah? You left on my bike. Don't get shit. <laughs> ah! I nearly just died. First so them clips you lot just saw there that was literally this <laughs> this vlog is a mess it's literally like three days in one video and i don't even know how long it's gonna be like 10 15 minutes i don't know could be even longer but um yeah still got josh here hold on got your boy cameron darren who's jail everyone's talking about this josh guy in ipswich who's josh i don't josh, know you i saw your name's jail i don't know but apparently he's in suffolk yeah, no, apparently he's in Braintree. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 makes sense. Um, this is the leader and the co-leader right here. Let's get a selfie. <laughs> so, I... Uh, honestly, like I said, this video is a, is a bit of a mess because I, I don't know what I've filmed and what I haven't. But basically, I've put on the chunky bars on my C2 right there. I think it's looking pretty sick. A review is going to be coming on this real soon. Uh, break down what I've done to it. Uh, it's also going to come on Josh's video and please don't mind that wheel was the wrong way around. Yes, I know. Well, the tire is anyway, but yeah, I'm going to break down the bike in how I've done it and how I done it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've just been practicing combos on it. Why I actually got the reason why I actually got the bike or built it back up and with, with no pegs is basically because I've tried out Diogo C100 and I wanted to do framework again because I kind of miss framework a little bit from when I had my C100, but I still prefer peg work bike. But with this, with the C2, it's so easy to land combos because the bike is so light. So you can literally just like, in it tie, when you land tricks on, the, on a C2, it's so easy to land it and just continue. Yeah. If you put lower bars. Yeah, but I, 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 I like the big bars on it though. I think it looks sick. I was going to get super huge honkins, but I think they look clean how it is right now. But yeah, man, we'll see what we've got for the rest of this vlog. I thought he was going to do some in and outs. Last time we went with Josh to the train station. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So right now we're at home bargains. Ow. Yeah, man, we're just chilling. It only costs 10p. I don't see what the issue is. <laughs> a bag of lettuce? <laughs> to put in my sandwich. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. The sound is so posh then. Oh, no, nah, actually, no. Nah. You must have, be, you must have got a, a bad idea. You must have got a good idea right there. Yeah. Why don't you taste like shit? Wait, wait, wait. Oi, and I got some black aftershave that this Indian man recommended. Oi. Unicorn things. <laughs> They're bare guys. Nice. This Indian guy recommended this and I smelt it. I was like, do you know what? Let me see. Put it on my wrist. Well, you know what? My hands are a Shake it like a woman. It's That's actually nice. Wait, Where did you get it from? No bargains. Oh. What are you doing, man? Let me smell. Smell his wrist. I ain't been weird and smell his wrist. How's that weird? Can it? Smell my wrist. Oh, I brought him some chocolate. Yeah. Well, not actually yeah. to put it on your chin, bro. I said to Wait, smell I it. I like this and you put it to my face. <laughs> 
What happens when you drink chocolate milk, cow milk? What? You turn into a cow. Uh. Ah. <laughs>